We're saving her from making a huge mistake. She'll probably thank us one day. Like I thank that woman who talked me out of sleeping with her on that business trip last spring. She was right. It would have been a huge mistake. I just couldn't see that at the time. God, she had the prettiest eyes. I should have done it. I should have. Dan, how much did this cost? 16,000 plus another three Gs for the lights and fog machine. What? Stan, you told me we couldn't afford the shoulder surgery I needed. All right, calm down. I'm almost done. I got the stick shift knob in the mail today. All I need now is the passenger gull wing door, and I am finished. Six years and $47,000 later. What? I mean, whatever number I said before. I have to meet Jim James. He understands me in a way that no one else does. I feel closer to him than anyone in the world. You ever felt anything like that? Stan! You're right. Traffic. I should go. Buddy, I need your help. Francine will be here in 10 seconds, and I'm going to tell her something she doesn't want to hear. Play along. Finally! <laughs> no, just agree with me. Uh. I figured you'd want to do the punishing. And I figured you would have vacuumed the plant gravel out of the trunk of my car by now. I'm your dad. That's why your number's in the dad phone and not my friend phone. Friend phone conversations go like this. What up, Jackson? Of course I want to hang out and ride 10 speeds or whatever. Dad phone conversations go like this. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'll come home and handle it. I don't know, in, in five minutes. Well, we gotta get the bill and figure out how much I owe. Well, I can't stiff these guys just because my son's acting up. Honey, that's not fair. I told you I was going out for a drink this morning. Yes, I did, in the kitchen. Maybe you weren't listening. I, I, look, I gotta go. You want me home, right? I can't come home if I'm on the phone. Happy, now I'm in trouble. Stan, I am sorry about the way things worked out, but I don't- You can do my wife! What? Think about it. White Francine. No limits. Dan, calm down. You're so nervous. Wouldn't you be if the love of your life was about to walk through that door? The love of your life? This girl made my knees weak, my palms sweaty, my butt leak. You ever felt that way, Francine? Stan, my feelings are starting to get hurt. You know what? You're making me not want to tell you things. <laughs> Open it. Nah, I'm still single. I guess I just haven't found the one. Oh, hey! Hey, you're available, and I'm not. What a world. What a horrible world. I'm gonna go. Doesn't matter you're not paying any attention. I don't know. Surprise me. Ugh. You ever wish someone you know would die? Son, I am bringing you to Mexico to show you that you don't need toys anymore. And by the way, father of the year here, this is how I wish I lost my virginity. Not to some coked-up airhead. Didn't you lose your virginity to Mom? Mm-hmm. Why don't I just go on Tinder and find a guy to drive us? Oh, it's him! He's everywhere! I better drive. Mom, why are you on Tinder? I said I'll drive. I promise, when you start to sag, to subject you to risky elective surgery. And I promise to be with you only if you make money and stay healthy. Alzheimer's runs in my family. You'll be dealing with that solo. Billy Popcorn's Movie Review Oh, what fresh hell is this?